Private Murgle. Repeat subsection 8 of Article 446 of the Emergency Powers Act. <laughs> like I read any of that. You'll have plenty of time to in solitary confinement. You'll stay there until you can recite every regulation by heart. Oh, yeah? Your next violation earns you a firing squad, understand? Okay, okay. I'll get you. Report to Provost Decker for processing. Get out of here. This is Republic Sovereign Territory per the McKeb Treaty. Diplomatic envoys require proper authorization. Vacate immediately. That would be me. Provost Marshal Fidelton Rusk, Dead Man's Legion. What's this about? The Sith Empire hasn't been cooperative since Arkin invaded. About time that's changed. But I'm committed to this front. Chancellor Maiden has deployed the Dead Man's Legion to suppress a gang war for our Hut allies. I can't entertain any appeals to take my army elsewhere until we've mopped up here. That would boost operational efficiency considerably. The less time this lot spends on Nashada, the better. Our objective is to root out fugitives of the Black Sun Syndicate that fled Coruscant and establish themselves here. I need intelligence about their workings. Aside from wandering the worst parts of town and shaking things up, we've got very little to go on. Getting our hands on information from Black Sun members themselves would be the most useful. But working underworld connections could be a force multiplier. If all else fails, we may have to rely on securing illicit goods to grease some palms. This will continue to act as my base of operations until our campaign is complete. Bring anything you find here. Pieces to the bigger picture. Thanks to you, I have units across Nar Shadda waiting to move on Black Sun's holdings. The icing on the cake? We've learned where their kingpin runs the entire operation. Final preparation is underway. I'm pulling together my strongest squads for a raid on the Black Sun headquarters. There's a spot for you, if you're interested. You've more than earned it. Even among criminals, Black Sun has a reputation for extreme brutality. We don't know their numbers, but we can count on them being well fortified and bloodthirsty. Don't remind me of the things you Imperials enjoy. We should be prepared to deploy any minute now. You ready? Rally up, dead men. Operation Sunset is underway. Well, what do we got here? Ain't them spineless huts come knocking? That's for sure. Get a load of the Sith, rolling with a bunch of Republic flunkies. Matches the description. The file says this one escaped from Bell Savas. So whatever he did to get in there is probably as sick as what he did to get out. <laughs> the best bits ain't written in anything but blood. Oh, you Sith think you're tough. Till you got a knife in your gut. Then you're all surprised and belly aching about how you was met for some bigger nonsense. When I go, you won't see me blubbering. Black Sun ain't gonna be hitched to your little chain gang. Don't think I ain't getting my say in. Think that glow stick hurts? Try crushing a swoop ganger's neck while his buddies are digging in your guts with an oil can, Shank. Only need one lung to kill you. Just gotta catch my breath. This one's not going anywhere. I'm gonna get the go ahead to the cleanup teams. <laughs> I ain't beat while I'm still breathing. Eighty percent of my squads have successfully captured their objectives. With their ringleader in our custody, 
any remnants will be too busy fighting among themselves to effectively regroup. Black Sun's operation on Nar Shadda has been effectively neutralized. You'd earned it. The Supreme Chancellor is going to be pleased with the results. I'll be in touch after things are shored up here. The Legion will need a new objective, and I'm willing to hear what you're after. Rally up soon. Ah, Commander. I was just reading up on your newest recruit, Rusk. Excellent job in bringing him in. A brilliant soldier, according to his records. First to volunteer for impossible missions, and somehow always gets the job done. He's certainly no stranger to being in the thick of it on the front line, or even behind it a lot of the time. His units have had high casualty rates. Hmm. Noted. Maybe we set him up as an officer and have him train some of our better volunteers. Apply his experience without risking his battlefield decision-making. At any rate, I should get back to it, Commander. Just wanted to say good job on this one. <laughs>